Cristo, em aleluia mina, assim como quando que Jesus, em aleluia mina, aleluia, assim que te viva. Jesus, aleluia mina, assim que te viva. Jesus, em aleluia mina, da Mosse Excelência, diz Giza, sing aleluia, amen. Da Mosse Excelência, diz Giza, sing aleluia, amen. Aleluia, da Mosse Excelência, diz Giza, shout aleluia, mina. Oh, the Lord's excellency, the most excellency. This Jesus, shout hallelujah, amen. What a mighty God we sound. What a mighty God we sound. The heaven and earth are joy. Angels bow before him. What a mighty God we shall. Hallelujah, what a mighty God we shall. The angels bow before him. Worship and adore him. What a mighty God. He's low, he's low. Amen. Every knee has bowed, every tongue confessed that Jesus Christ is low, he's low, he's low. Amen. He has risen from the grave, he is true. Amen. Heavy name has bowed, heavy tongue confessed that Jesus Christ is low, he is low, he is low. Amen. Heavy name has bowed. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is low, he is low, he is low. Amen. Every name must bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is low, he is low. Amen. He has risen from the grave, he is low. Amen. Every name must bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is low. Father, in heaven, I love you. I lift your name, be out. Let your kingdom be established in our presence as your people. Declare your mighty word. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, who reigns forever. Father, in heaven, we love you. We lift your name, dear. Let your kingdom be established in our presence as your people. Declare your mighty one. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, 
your kingdom be established in our presence as your people declare your mighty word Jesus we are here Savior we are here, we are here for you. Father, we are here. Jesus, we are here. Holy Ghost, we are here for you. We are here, Father, we are here, Holy Ghost, we are here, come and take your place, O Lord, come and take your Come on, take your place, O Lord. Come on, take your place in our life. Come on, take your place. Come on, take your place, Jesus. Come on, take your place. Do something new in our life. Something new in our lives. Something new in our lives. Oh, Lord. I cannot do without you. We cannot do without you. We cannot do without you, O oh Lord. Do something new in our life, something wonderful in our life, something powerful in our life, O oh Lord. Do something wonderful in our life, something powerful in our life, something wonderful, oh Lord. Do something new in our lives, something new in our life, something new in our life. Join me in the name of Jesus and ask Jesus to do something new in your life. Ask him to do something new in your marriage. Ask him to do something new in your life. Ask him to do something new in your career. Ask him to do new thing in your children's life. Ask him to do something new. Ask him to do something new. We are in a new year. Ask him to do something new today. That very new thing you desire, ask him. Let there be a new relationship between you and God. Let there be a new marriage. Let your marriage become new. Let your relationship become new. Do something new. He say, I'm doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Do something new in the life of your people. Do something new in this gathering. Do something new in this very day. 
do something new, O oh God. Do not bypass us, Father. Do something new. In our government, do something new. In our nations, do something new. In churches, do something new. Even in prison, do something new. Hospital, Father, do something new. In the life of your people, do something new, O oh God. Let it be known that you alone, your God, there is none beside you, you alone, your God, for you sit on the mountain and they melt. You speak a word and it comes to pass. Do something new in that man's life. Do something new in that woman's life. Do something new in their careers. Do something new, Father. Only you. In Jesus' name we pray. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you. It's only you, Jehovah. It's only you. Thank you, Jesus. It's only you. There is none like you, O oh God. We satisfy the forum with the precious blood of Jesus. Father, take absolute control. I cancel every negative spirit, be it in the forum or in your houses, wherever you are. I cancel every negative spirit. Every negative spirit, I cancel them. Standing against you in any way, I cancel every negative spirit. I cancel every negative declaration against you. Every negative declaration against the church of God this day be canceled. Every demonic pronouncement against this gathering today be canceled. Every evil hand pointing upon this gathering, I command it to be paralyzed. Every evil mouth be silent in the name of Jesus. Whatever and whatever been deposited in the forum that is not of God, I uproot it and out completely in the name of Jesus. Any strange spirit, you are a stranger. In the name of Jesus, I command you, you doubt. I command you worry and fear, the curse, out and never return. Out, you demon, whatever wall between man's heart and God's spell, be removed. That barrier, be removed. Sin power against any of you, be broken. Sin power over this forum, be broken. Sin power over your families, be broken in the name of Jesus. Sin power over this gathering. Be broken. Those under influence of this forum, telecast, sin power over you. Be broken. Sin power. Be broken in the name of Jesus. I declare you all free. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What a privilege for you and I to gather. In the presence of God Almighty, who has, who owns everything, wherever you are, greetings from Miyama. Good morning. Praise God. I want to believe some of you, you are doing fasting. You know, to enter here, you just don't start eating. I believe you are doing some fasting. Praise God. Most especially, mother, is very important. Even if you are fasting and drinking water, it's a blessing. So that all the abundance that is coming your way, enemy cannot take it away. Seal yourself with the blood of Jesus. Everything about you, seal it with the blood of Jesus. Seal it with the blood of Jesus. Seal it with the blood of Jesus. 
While we thank God for you who are present, it's a blessing for us to gather. As I've always said, remember Jesus loves you. You are a child of God. You have been created to overcome. No matter what you are going through, Jesus is aware. Praise God. Yeah, we are in Genesis chapter 46. We remember yesterday we were in 45 of where we see that Joseph made himself known to his brother to an extent where he had to send the wagon to Canaan so that he can bring his father and everything that he had to Egypt. And we can see that it was awesome. When he made himself known to his brother, it was a shock. They could not even stand or say anything. It was a surprise. Of which I said that the story of Joseph, it makes one to know that dreams are not just for fun. When God gives a dream, he may not really tell when it will take place. Sometimes he may say, but when he gives you a dream, bigger the dream is, bigger the challenges. But the secret to let the dream happen or to come to pass is when you fix your eyes on the one who gave you that dream. I tell you, when your eyes are fixed on Jesus, your dream will surely come to pass. But when you give attention to the surrounding circumstances, people around you, they will discourage you and you are likely to give up on your dream. Men with big dreams, they encounter big challenges. You can see our brother Joseph. He went through a lot as a result of his dream. And him was worse because he started experiencing hardship in his own father's house. Unbelievable. When you are being troubled with somebody outside, but somebody related, it really breaks the heart. I can imagine how his journey was while going towards Israel, uh, while he was going to slavery, he was really crying his heart. Even while he was in a Fortifer's house, whenever he used to sit down, he used to cry and say, my brother to do this to me. So it was really painful. But I do believe that Joseph, when he arrived at Fortifer's house, I believe he forgave his brother. And it made everything easier for him to experience God's fulfillment of his promise in his life. So I want you to be encouraged. This year, God used me to let you know that it's a year of abundance. I know every one of you will have a testimony. God can only say something that will surely come to pass. So the Bible says, to him who confirmed the word of his servant, God will confirm it by you having abundance. He will count your blessing. Yeah, I would love us to see what he says through Genesis 46. I will use King James. I will use a new version. So Israel set out with all that he had was his and when he reached the Sheba, he offered sacrifice to the God of his father Isaac and God spoke to Israel in a vision at the night and said Jacob Jacob here I am he replied I am God the God of your father he said do not be afraid to go to, down to Egypt for I will make you into a great nation I will go down, I will go down to Egypt with you, and I will surely bring you back again. And Joseph's own hand will close your eyes. Then, then Jacob left Bathsheba. So here now the Bible tells us that after Jacob have received news concerning his brother, son being alive. He decided to, to make a step to move. 
But remember, he was a godly fearing man. When he reached, arrived to Bathsheba, he remembered to call on God, to, uh, to inquire if it is really a right decision. I know as, an, as a human, he was afraid going to Egypt. But God knows human heart. God appeared to him and said, I am God of your forefather, or I'm the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go to Egypt. I'll go with you. And I will make you a great nation. And Jacob and Joseph, your son, will close your eyes, meaning you will die, but Joseph is the one who will close your eyes, which means he will meet and see Joseph. There is something as a Christian we need to learn here. Our forefather Jacob or Israel, wherever he used to feel trouble, he used to inquire and ask to know God's opinion concerning his move. That's why, you see, he had to turn to the altar and ask God, is it right what I'm doing? Then God answered and tell him, don't be afraid, God. It is my prayer that when you pray, even in your houses, that you may hear the voice of God replying to you as a man who talked to his son. Praise God in this very year. The Bible says that then Jacob left Bathsheba and Israel's sons took their father Jacob. Their, their children and their wives in the carts that Pharaoh had sent to transport him. They also took with them their livestock and the possession they had acquired in Canaan. And Jacob and all his offspring went to Egypt. He took with him to Egypt his sons, grandsons, and his daughter, and granddaughters, all his offspring. Remember, God Almighty is so good. He made Joseph to send, let me say, a uh, wagon to carry Jacob from Canaan to Egypt. So here the Bible tells us that he was able to carry everything that he had, grandchildren, his sons. After he left Bathsheba, his sons made him able to sit on the, that wagon so that he can journey to meet his son. So on his way, he did not leave anything behind. He had cattle, herds. We know he was blessed. So he was had a lot of people around him. He started journeying towards Egypt. God being gracious to him. The Bible tells us that he went with his own offspring. These are the names of the sons of Israel, Jacob and his descendants who went to Egypt. So the Bible tells us the sons, or let me say, the people who are with him. Remember earlier on when we started talking, reading about Jacob, at time he had only one, he, was, he had only a staff while going to Laban's house. Remember at that time he was running from his brother. But now God has made him a great man with a lot of animals. So the Bible tells us that here are his descendants. We are going to read his generation. The Bible says that Reuben, the first of Jacob, the son of Reuben, his first son is Reuben. We remember the first born of Leah. Anoj, Paula, Erosona, Kamin, the son, then, those are the sons of Reuben. Reuben was the son of Jacob. Now, this is where we read the, we read the sons of Reuben, Anok, Paul, Palu, Azrona, Kamin, 
Those are the sons of Reuben. Now the sons of Simeon. Simeon was the son of Jacob. Jamal, Jamin, Ochad, Jakim, jo Zohar, and Shaul, the sons of, those were the sons of Simeon. Now the Canaanite woman, the, the sons of Levi, Gershom, Cotan, and Mareri, the son of Judah, sons of Judah, Ah, Onan, Shala, Perez, Zerah, but Erad and Onan had died in the land of Canaan. Wow. The Bible tells these two died in the land of Canaan, but they had to mention their name because of their father. So you can, I want you to quote something. Jacob is a, a friend of God, but God permits his grandchildren to die. It means you can be a Christian, but you can encounter a challenge. It doesn't mean that God do not love you. God permit it for a reason. Maybe to strengthen your desire for him. Praise God. So he permitted these two sons to rest. The, the sons of Isaac, Tola, Pua, Joshab, Shim, Shimron, the sons of Zebulun, Scred, Alon, Jahelin. These are the sons of Leah. Boa to Jacob in Padan, Aram beside his daughter Dina. These sons are dot, daughters of his wife, 33 in all. So, let me, it means that those who came through Leah, they were 33, including his, 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 his maid, her maid. They were 33 in number. The sons of God, the phone, Ag Agi, Shan, Ezobon, Eri, Erodi, and Ariel. The son of Asha, Ima, Ishavan, Aisha, and Brima. Their sister was Sarah, and the sons of Bira. Abba and Michael, these are the children born to Jacob by Zipha, whom Laban had given to his daughter Leah, 16 in all. The one who was like maid, she was able to bear to Jacob, 16. Wow. Wonderful. Why they come 16? It's like um, the son and the, the son's son with the grandchildren. That's why it makes 16. Not all children came from one person. No. Praise God. I hope you get me clear. Now, the sons of Jacob's wife, Rachel, Joseph and Benjamin, in Egypt, Manasseh and Ephraim, were born to Joseph by Asenath, daughter of Potiphar, the priest of On. So Rachel gave birth, gave Jacob only two sons, Joseph and Benjamin. And at that time, Joseph had two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. Praise God. Benjamin was still young. Bella, Becca, Abel, Gera, Naham, Eki, Rosh, Muffin, Apim, and Ah. These are the sons of Rachel who are born to Jacob, 14 in all. So they were 14 in all, including the, the maid. Rachel herself, she gave birth only two sons, but they are counting also the sons of the, from the maid and their grandchildren. The son of Dan, Ashim, the sons of Nephtal, Jazi, Kun, Jeza, Shilem. These are the sons born to Jacob by the beer who Laban had given to his daughter Rachel, seven in all. 
they were seven. All those who went to Egypt with Jacob, those who were his direct descendants, not counting his son's wife, number 66 persons, with the two sons who had been born to Joseph in Egypt, the member of Jacob's family, which went to Egypt, were 17 in all. So the Bible tells us that they were 70 in number who went to Egypt. 70. Remember, Jacob had, he was with only a staff going to Laban. Then he said to God, if you will give me food and provide for me and protect me, I come from, from there and come back to this place, then you will be my God. Now we are seeing he was having seven souls without including the sons of their sons of his wives sons of the some without counting some of the people who are in his household so i want you to see something he said the direct the the direct descendants of jacob were 66 persons with the two sons who had been born to Joseph in Egypt, the member of Jacob. Praise God. Not counting his son's wife. So, which means they were only counting the children and the sons, but they did not count their wives. Praise God. Now, 28 verse 28 of 46 genesis genesis 46 verse 28 he said now jacob sent judah ahead of him to joseph to get direction to goshen when they arrived in the region of goshen joseph had his chariot made ready and went to goshen to meet his father israel as soon as joseph appeared before him he threw his arms around his father and wept for a long time. The Bible tells us that Judah was sent to go ahead to ask Joseph to give them the right direction to go from a place where they are supposed or a land where they are supposed to be living, because Egyptians do not really like to associate with the animal kind of thing. So, since these were farmers. Or let me say, people who take care of animals, he decided to, uh, to suggest for them to be in Goshen, and that's where Pharaoh had given them. So the Bible tells us that Joseph was ready, his child, or let me say, his chariot was ready. So he came to Goshen where they were and meet the dad. He tells us that he, let me say, he hugged him and wept in his arms for a long time after 23 good years after 13 good years sorry 13 good years and remember joseph was the son he loved most even he had given him a garment of 12 of many colors and this is what led him to be even sold by his brother so the Bible tells us that he hugged him well. They stayed, they wept. He wept. I know each one of them wept in him while they are holding each other. Israel said to Joseph, now, now I'm ready to die since I have seen for myself that you are still alive. Then Joseph said to his brothers and to his father's household, I will go up and speak to Pharaoh. And, I, and we will say to him, my brothers and my father, household, who are we living in the land of Canaan, have come to me. The men are shepherds. They tend livestock and they have brought along their flocks and herds and everything they own. When Pharaoh calls you in the inn and asks, what is your occupation? You should answer you are servants have tendered livestock from our boyhood on just as our father did then you will be allowed to settle in the region of goshen 
for all shepherds detestable to the Egyptians. So I mean, shepherds were detestable. So Joseph told them, I'm going to meet Pharaoh and explain that you, my brothers, and everything that you own, you have come, including your animals. But he will ask, if he asks you what is your work or occupation, you tell him that since from your childhood you take care of animals, then he will allow you to live in the region of Goshen because our livestock are detestable, which means Egyptians, they don't really value animals. They see them like unclean. So that is what really happened for in 46 of Genesis. You can see now that the dream of Joseph have now fulfilled. Last time we saw that he was able to, to make himself known to his brothers. And before then, they bowed before him twice. So the dream that he told them, I saw 11 stars bowing before me, including moon and sun. It have now fulfilled. I will repeat again and tell you that listen to me. Your dreams will surely come to pass. Praise God. I believe each one of you have a great dream. If you have lost, you, are, you no longer believe your dream. I tell you, believe again. It will surely come to pass. Many dreams will happen this very year. Many of your dreams will take place this very year because it's a year of abundance. Praise be to God. Yeah, well, you may have a question or you would love to say something based on what we have just read. Feel free uh, to ask or to contribute. Praise God. As God blesses his word. Feel free, my sisters, if you want to contribute, it is a blessing. Yeah, if you feel also you love to sing before, uh, you love to sing, we love to hear you singing, you have a testimony, please. To the glory of God. You have a testimony you love to sing to the glory of God. Chitiwa cho Chikugwana Chitiwa cho Chikugwana Chitiwa cho You want to sing? Please. Chitiwa cho Chikugwana Bakirubi bakusinza chiti wacho chikugwana. Chiti wacho chikugwana chiti wacho chikugwana. Bakirubi bakukola yesu chiti wacho chikugwana. Abazungu bakutenda chiti wacho chikugwana. Abalwade bakutunulide mukama chiti wacho chikugwana. Abali mukomera bakuita mukama chiti wacho chikugwana. Oh, chiti wacho, chiti wacho, chiti wacho, chikugwana. Abalwadi bakuita mukama, chiti wacho, chikugwana. Abasumba tu kutunulide mukama, chiti wacho, chikugwana. Abataina subi tu kuita mukama, chiti Wacho chikugwana, chiti wacho yesu, chiti wacho 
ki kugwana e kanisa e kuita mukama chiti wacho ki kugwana chiti wacho chiti wacho chiti wacho chiti wacho Amen. Yeah, we see, sister. Yeah, it's okay. It's well. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to pray for someone because I don't see questions. We'll have to pray for someone or testimony before we can go. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so kind. Lord, you are wonderful. Our Lord, you are excellent. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Wow, excellent is your name. Lord, you are wonderful. Our Lord, you are excellent. Okay, you will stretch your hand. I pray for you before we call it a day. Lord, Lord, prepare me to be your sanctuary. You are holy, tried unto with thanksgiving, with a living sanctuary for you. Lord, prepare us to be your sanctuary. You are holy, tried unto with thanksgiving, with a living sanctuary for you. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. We glorify your holy name. Kawe Lama Kawe. We bless your name. Almighty God, we bow before your throne. We glorify your holy name. Kawe Lama Kawe. Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit your people into your hands. Thank you for your grace upon us as individuals. Thank you for making it possible for us to gather this day. We bless your holy name, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord, for your provision. Thank you for the love you showed Jacob until you said to him that his son, Joseph, he will be the very one to bury him. I know in our midst, there are men and women have lost hope as a reason of circumstance. But I'm here to say to them, this is the year of abundance. This is the year of increase. This is the year of prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Father, I stand to decree in the life of everyone under influence of my voice. That dream that I died be revived, be revived in the name of Jesus. Marriages that are in point of dying, be revived in the name of Jesus. 
relationships that are in point of breaking be revived in the name of Jesus. Families that are in point of breaking be revived in the name of Jesus. Nations that are in point of breaking be revived in the name of Jesus. Business that are in point of disappearing be restored in the name of Jesus. Lives that are in point of death be revived. Those under influence of my voice, whether you are in sickbed, whether you are in a coma, rise, be revived again, be revived again, be restored, be restored in the name of Jesus. Someone have reached the point of hopelessness. There is still hope because Jesus is still saying something. Wherever and whatsoever that is not of God operating inside you, out of your system, you still feel pain. Wherever the pain is touched, I stretch my hand. You that still have trouble, is it your eyes? I command those eyes to be healed. You have stomach problem. That problem, wherever it is not of God, out in the name of Jesus. You have cancer, whatever name you call it, cancer, dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Every sickness and disease, be healed. Jesus command to heal. Be healed of that disease. Be healed of that sickness. Be healed of that HIV. Be healed of that trouble. In the name of Jesus. Whatever and whatsoever that is not of God, deposited inside you, either through dream, whatever way, out in the name of Jesus. Out wherever it is. Out in the name of Jesus. 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 Whatever you may have eaten from the table of your enemy, be flushed out of your system. Out of your system. Out in the name of Jesus. Someone's heart is hardened. You feel something in your heart. I speak to your heart. Be open. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose in the name of Jesus. Be loose. I speak to your heart. Be loose in the name of Jesus. 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 That heart. Whatever that is not of God, out in the name of Jesus. Every negative declaration concerning you be cancelled. Every demonic pronouncement against you be cancelled. The word of God that says, let there be light. I speak the same word. Let there be light anywhere there is darkness. I decree light. Light of God. Let there be light in your soul. Let the light be in your heart. Let there be light in your muscle. That way I feel pain. I command let there be light. Sickness is darkness. Poverty, hardship is darkness. Whatever you complain about is darkness. Your darkness, let there be light. Let there be light in your finances. I speak the light of God to shine. Let there be light in your marriage. Let there be light of God. Anywhere there is darkness, I speak the light. Let the light shine in your homes. In Jesus. 
Christ's mighty name. Whatever war between your heart and the Spirit of God, that war be removed. 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 That war be removed in the name of Jesus. What you have lost as a result of unbelief, take it back. Take it back. I restore, be restored, your family be restored. Restore your finance. Whatever you have lost, be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Inner joy be restored. Inner peace be restored. Your finance be restored. Your career be restored. Your health be restored in the name of Jesus. Your homes be restored. That affection in marriage be restored. Be restored. Your good health be restored. Your organs be restored. Your dreams be restored. Be restored. Your relationship, I cause it to be restored. Be restored. Be restored. That faith that you have lost, be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Your husband, wherever he is, I restore him back to you. Your wife, I restore him back to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree calmness in your future let calmness be calm i speak calmness in your heart calmness in your lives in the name of jesus i decree this year of abundance may you experience abundance may you walk in abundance may you eat in abundance may you have plenty love in abundance in jesus name Amen. We pray and believe. Amen. I want you to join me and make this declaration. Say, this is my year. This is my season. I decree this is my time to be blessed. Say like you mean it. This is my time. I restore my dominion. I command my dominion to be restored. Speak like you mean it. I command my dominion to be restored. I command my dominion to be restored. Whatever I have lost through unbelief, be restored in the name of Jesus. Command it, command it. Say, this is my season. I will not lack in this season. I will not beg in this season. But I will have plenty to share in this time. 2023 is my year. It's my year of increase. It's my year of abundance. It is my year of greatness. Indeed, I am great. I am great. My family, it is well. Say, my family, it is great. My marriage, it is well. My business is great. My finance is great. Say like you mean it. Say like you mean it. Whatever you confess, so shall it be. Praise God. If you believe you are great, God will confirm it that you are great. Whatever you believe and confess, that is God, God will establish it. Say, I am great. I am blessed. I am great. No weapon formed against me will prosper in this year. Every tongue that raised against me in judgment, I stand to condemn it. Say, I am great. I am great. I am healed. I am delivered. I am set free. Jesus is my deliverer. I am blessed. I am healed. Jesus is my healer. I am delivered. 
Jesus is my deliverer. I am saved. Jesus is my savior. Say like you mean it. What you confess, that is what you will receive. Closed mouth is a closed destiny. What you say from your heart, that is what you will experience in the physical. Say like you mean it. I am blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, it is a new dawn. Say, my family, it is a new dawn. My marriage, it is a new dawn. Greet your, say, greet your family. Say, it is a new dawn. My marriage, it is a new dawn. My relationship, it is a new dawn. It is a new dawn. My career, it is a new dawn. It is a new My beginning. My career is a new dawn. My business is a new it dawn. Is a new My dawn. prayer life is a new it dawn. It is a new dawn. My finances, it is a new dawn. You can unmute and feel free. You must say it, and as you say, new dawn, it means it is just a beginning. It's a fresh beginning. Praise God. You are greeting. You are making it know. You can unmute yourself. Feel free. Say, it is a new dawn. My life, it is a new dawn. My family, it, it is, is a new, new dawn. My career, it is a new dawn. My destiny is a new dawn. My family is a new dawn. My children, it is a new dawn. My health, it is a new dawn. My bank account, it is a new dawn. Say my marriage, it is a new dawn. Say my community. My Say my family, it is a new dawn. My, my is a nation, new it is a new dawn. Say it, it is a new dawn. What you say with the, all your heart, God will affect it. God will cause it to happen. In the name of Jesus. Say like you it is a new dawn. It, it is, is a new dawn in, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is a new dawn in everything that concerns me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now I want you to say, you know what? My business, awake. Some business are sleeping. You work, you receive little. It means that business is sleeping. You are married, you are just fighting. It means they're sleeping. So you say, my business, awake. Awake. You say, my marriage, awake, awake. my husband, awake. awake. My finances, awake. some of you are sleeping. My finances are awake. My finances are awake. My family are awake. My family are awake in the mighty name of they Jesus. Say, awake, Christ. my business. Awake. Awake, my business. Awake, my family awake. My career awake. My partner awake. Awake in the name of Jesus. My sister, my body, organs awake in the name of Jesus. Awake in the name of Jesus. My destiny, say like you mean. My destiny, awake in the mighty name of Jesus. Awake, my dreams awake. in the mighty name of Jesus. Awake, awake in the name of Jesus. Say like you mean. Let my them wake up from the sleep. Name of Jesus. Some my of you businesses sleep. Some of you careers sleep. Some of you everything about you sleep. Say my body, organs, are awake. My body, are awake right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My organs, are awake in the name of Jesus. Awake in the mighty name of Jesus. Awake in the name of Jesus. Awake in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I will soon leave you, but I, until I assure you are great, now you know what? I want you to say, you are going again to greet your, yourself. You say, my, my body, good morning. It's a prayer. Don't worry, you will come and testify. Say, my marriage, good morning. You know how you tell people good morning? When, when people are sleeping, you say good morning. They are sleeping, they wake up. Tell my career, good morning. Good morning, it's a new dawn. My family, good morning. You greet your business. You know some of business, they are sleeping. Good morning, my business. It is a new dawn. A new beginning. Good morning, my family. It's a new dawn. It is a new beginning. 
it is a new beginning my ministry my organization good morning it is a new dad a new beginning my bank account good morning it is a new dad good morning my divine partners wherever you are good morning good morning my married my wife wherever she is your husband wherever he is good morning it is a new dad good morning my heart good morning my spiritual life good morning spiritual life good morning good morning my bank account good morning good morning my career good morning my finance my children good morning it is a new dawn it is a new beginning good morning praise god good morning my nation my leaders our government good morning Church of God, good morning. Church of God, good morning. My spiritual life, good morning. My physical life, good morning. My faith, good morning. It is a new dawn. My body, good morning. My eyes, I say good morning. Good morning. It is a new My organs, there are some organs are not functioning. Tell that organ that is not functioning, good morning. You will come and testify. Tell it, tell it. You have pain in your bone. Tell that bone, pain, bone. Good morning, my bones. My knees, good morning. My eyes, tell your eyes, good morning. You have tooth problem. Say good morning to your tooth. Praise God. Good morning. It is a new dawn. Good morning. It is a new beginning. Good morning. It's a time to believe again. Good morning. Good morning. We are in a 2020. A good morning here. We are of abundance. Oh, hallelujah, Rabbi Shekete. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. As you have declared, so shall it be. I will only need to see everything you have declared happen in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Amen. Some of you. You receive coffee. You receive mates. You receive increase in salary, increase in wages, increase. Ah, uh, honey that never used to call you, he will call you. She will call you. You that have having issue in marriage, you will wonder. He used to call you mama. He will not call you mama today. Will say, babe, honey, sweetheart. This year, you have already greeted, so it is going to work for you. Praise God! You know the Bible says in Genesis, in the, um, Psalms, verse thirty, chapter thirty, verse five: "Weeping may endure for a while, but joy comes in the morning." What does that mean? At the night, during night time, many bad things happen. Thief find. They are very comfortable during night while stealing. Every bad thing happened during night. Ask people who are sick, they will tell you. Night hours, they cannot sleep. They are crying. That is when they pain. Everyone, when they are sleeping, they are crying. Every bad thing take mostly place at night. Witches and wizards operate mostly well during night where is darkness. So. The Bible says that weeping. Okay, let me read for you. Uh, Psalms 30, verse 5. I know you may wonder why is he returning us good morning? It's a prayer. That's why you hear many a times when you talk to me, you say, Baba, good morning. I say, Good morning. Even people call me good morning, and it's working for me. I have used this word for now almost three years. Now I start seeing I'm in the morning. Praise God. The Bible says, Psalm 30, verse 5. He said, For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may remain for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. You can see rejoicing come in the morning. Weeping may remain for a night. 
which means at night people have access to weep. That's why you see why you weep over your business because it is in the night, it's in the darkness. Why you weep over your marriage is because your marriage is in darkness, night. Why you weep about your body going through pain, darkness. Why? Darkness is, is in, no, 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 Satan. Darkness and Satan, they are the same. When you talk of darkness, you talk about Satan. When you talk about pain, Satan, demon behind it. When you talk of light, Jesus is the light. That's why you see the Bible says, then he said, let there be light, and there was light, and he saw it was beautiful. So when you talk of light, you're talking of God. When you talk of darkness, you talk of Satan. So the Bible says, and rejoice comes in the morning. That's why I choose to be in the morning. First time I had this word, I had it from man of God, TV Yoshi. Then I took time and asked, you making use of it. Those days, I remember, I used to have pain in my ankles. But he said, say good morning to where pain is. So I keep saying good morning to before you know the pain disappears. Now I keep asking God about it. Now I remember two years ago when I was asking God, give me a one. I had it very clear, good morning. So since then, I believe I'm in the morning. So even if you are first, you keep saying good morning to your face, it will be good morning. You tell your master good morning, I tell you it is good morning. Make use of this because rejoicing come in the morning so i choose to be in the morning so my business whatever i do it is in the morning you and i you see i tell you what i tell you you see it happen you are be in the morning when your business is not working say good morning to my business praise god i know some will say ah we don't see reason no don't mind them when you saw a seed maize today will you go back tomorrow and harvest no, you have to wait for some time, right? But you continue watering it. How do you water? Continue saying, good morning, my marriage. Good morning, my husband. Even if he, he, he doesn't care about you, good morning. In his presence and in, when he's not there, they, you have his photo. You speak to his photo and say, good morning, my husband. You will come back. Good morning. I tell you, you will rejoice in the morning if you keep being in the morning. Praise be to God. I hope somebody has been blessed. Continue being the one. Don't worry. It doesn't matter what challenges you experience as a Christian. Why? For us Christian challenges, they strengthen our desire for God. Praise God. When we encounter challenges as Christians, these challenges draw us more closer to God. I will say this. When you go and receive bad news, you will come back and cry. Afterwards, you will go either on your knees and start telling God. There you will start praying, you will start fasting, asking God for help. Whenever we encounter a problem, that problem makes us, it creates awareness. It creates us to remember our maker. So your problem, it is not to kill you, but it is to draw you more closer to God. Is that an enemy? It's a blessing. Praise God. There is no one without a challenge. A challenge becomes an enemy when you see God in a bad light. You say, why me? I have to suffer. Why me? You have seen, we have read about Jacob. He had sons and daughters, descendants, but still some of them died before him. It doesn't mean when you are of God, you are out of touch. For Jesus said this, this is what the Lord is saying. When you pass through fire, I will be with you. Right? He did not say that when you come near fire, I will take away fire. What is that fire? Is that problem? It means when you pass sickness, I will be with you in those, that sickness. It will not kill you. When you go through poverty, I will be in view in that poverty. It will not kill you. That's why you see Many who, had, who have the same problem like you, they are dead. But you, you cannot die because of the problem. 
Praise God. So, learn to confess the word of God. I tell you, Christian, Christianity have been made easy by God. I've made things just a matter of speaking. That's why I encourage you every day. Before you go to bed, speak, confess the word of God, and you will be blessed. Praise God. The word of God. Yeah. Praise God. We come to an end. Let me read you this. He said, Psalms 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. What is that shadow of evil? Sickness, poverty, name calling, rejection is with you. The Lord will continue to be with you through this year of abundance. I tell you, my sister, congratulations. Praise God. Unless someone wants us to hear either you have testimony or you wanted us to pray for you if you feel you are not well, because I want to believe everyone is fine. Praise God. Help me keep confessing. Because the Lord, the God, what he gave me this year, it was abundant. Praise God. So don't doubt. Yeah, if there is no one, we'll come to an end. Praise God. Oh, I see Sister Lugo. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I see the way you cover with yourself. I see you cover with the mask. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah, because I am here with my mom. And you know, I'm being positive, and my mom is not positive. Glory be to God. Because even I've been with her from the day when I've been diagnosed. But uh, uh, she is not positive. She is she's negative. But we're still in the hospital. Uh, my mom, she still have her post conditioner going on. I have a high fever. And she has a fluid in her lungs. Yesterday they did x-ray because she cannot breathe by her own. She breathed through the oxygen. Well, she was not in oxygen before. So they run some x-ray and some uh, uh, CAT scan to do x-ray in her lungs. And they figure out they have a lot of fluids in her left side. So those fluids need to be drained this morning with the procedure. And I believe God can do something. They still cannot figure out what give her high fever. Her fever is very high. 103.6 is very high until now this morning. But I believe God will do something. It was been six days today, soon last Thursday. And we were expect to be one day in the hospital and get out Friday morning. And now a lot of stuff adding to it. But I believe it's the work of the enemy. Before this year, I decree, I say 2023 would be my year of peace and joy and love and happiness. But the enemy just tried to shake it. But I believe I asked today, this morning, I asked by faith. I need down, we have altar here in the hospital because it's a Catholic church. It's a Catholic uh, hospital. I went down to the altar and I say, God, I know. I say my word and I know you hold me. There's nothing that I change this year to be my year. Whatever the enemy tried to show me from the beginning of this year, to think, oh, it's a bad year. I'm not going to accept that. This year is a good year. And I will see the good news of God in my life. So I just need a prayer for my mom now. Let the doctor figure out what's going on, what's the causing of the fever. Because they cannot figure out. They take a lot of blood now for those five days. They cannot figure out. The surgery don't have any infection on it. It's good. The blood don't show any infection. They don't have, right now they take another blood test last night. They want to see what's going on, but they cannot figure out what's going on. But whatever the doctor cannot find out, I know it's a special thing. And I believe my mother will be healed. So I need a prayer for my mother. 
Amen. We are going to make the use of the word good morning. You put your Amen. hand on the screen because we are going to use the word good morning to you and your mother. Then you will come and testify in the name of Jesus so that when this word works for you, it will be able for every one of you to make use of it. Praise God. Because everything must be tested. So some of you are still wondering, ah, why this it, Baba today tell us good morning? It's awake, awake. And it is good. We are going to demonstration. We are going to tell mommy, awake. Our lungs awake. It's a new dawn. Good morning. Join me in faith. Two believers are better than one. Praise God. You will see that only those words will cast out demon, will cast out problem, will cast out darkness. Because what she's going through is darkness. That's why you see the other one who is in bad condition, God have decided her not to have any cold. So the one who is taking care of it is the one who have problem. Satan is a very funny person. I call him a defeated fool. I, in the name of Jesus, you join me as we stretch our hands towards you. In the name of Jesus, weeping may endure for a night, for a while, but rejoicing come in the morning. You, our sister and mother, all night you are weeping, seeing a mother in a critical situation, being on oxygen. You that take care of her having COVID is indeed darkness. The Lord who gave this word, in the name of Jesus, this word is anointed. Anointed. I said to your mother, awake. Awake from that situation. A kidney, a liver, awake. Everything that is sleeping inside her, I command it to awake. Anything that is sleeping, awake. I speak the light to shine in our system. In your system, let there be light. I said to you, mommy, you are kidney, good morning. You are liver, good morning. You are lungs, good morning. I say good morning to your entire system. I say good morning, good morning to your organs. Good morning to head to talk. Whatever that is not functioning, I say good morning to it. Whatever that is not responding, I say good morning. Good morning to your fluid. Good morning. Good morning to your blood. Good morning to your breathing system. Good morning to everything has to do with you. You that have been declared positive, I say in your system, good morning to your breathing system, good morning to everything inside and outside you. I say good morning to your health. It is a new dawn. COVID is not your portion. You are a child of God. Good morning. Good morning. It's time for you to rejoice, for darkness has disappeared. It's time for you to rejoice in this morning. It is your time. As you made the declaration in the beginning of the year, it was not in vain. Satan just wants you to doubt what you declare. You know that what you declare it is, is, is happening. That's why Satan put you in such a state. But I'm here to join with you and agree. Every word you declare, I say good morning. Every good word you have ever said, that word you said on that very day while you are processing, I say good morning. Uh, good morning. It's time for you to rejoice. Weeping will not continue. I said to you, good morning, sister. In Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning to you, sister. Good morning to mommy. She will not continue to be there. Amen. Touch, for, touch her forehead and say good morning, man. Yeah, good morning. Good morning in the name of Jesus. Good morning.
Good morning. Good morning, the name of Jesus. Amen. I feel something cold going from my head to my stomach to down. It is done, sister. Amen. Amen. They are going to remove that fear yeah, and you take her back home. Amen. Thank you. Also, you. also, you don't have cold. <laughs> they will test you negative Amen. and you go back. Don't change your confession. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we rejoice with you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Even if you are not having appetite, just be ready. You are going to be able to eat. You are going to be able to drink. Praise God. What Amen. you declared on that day, yeah, they are powerful one. That's why Satan had to put, ah, he thought he should put you there. Praise God. Congratulations. Amen. Amen. Yeah, your, mom, Amen. your mommy tell me now it's standing. It's standing terribly. I don't know if you call your mother. Something is standing in the stomach. Terribly. Terribly. Yeah. You know, both of us, we have the idea. I don't know for some reason, my stomach, the day he said something will happen to your stomach. I've been going on, and I thought it's a causing of COVID. And my mom as well. Yeah, no I don't know. Yeah, you are going to, to flush it out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, when Maybe. I was talking, I just had something done in my stomach very terrible. Yeah. Amen. Amen. No, God loves you so much. Amen. This is your time. It. Amen. Yeah, this is your I receive it. I receive it. Amen. Thank you. Amen. I receive it. Yeah, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. That coughing is good. It's deliverance. It's going. Yes. Amen. Yeah. So we want to hear from you. We are meeting is it tomorrow. Yeah. Amen. Thank By morning, you. you are going to tell us something. Amen. Uh, we'll be together. Thank you. So that, so that people can make use of the word good morning. You know, everything must be tested. So the word good morning is being tested to you so that other people can know that that word is anointed. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> okay, well. Amen. I receive it. They will rejoice with you. Congratulations to all of you. Anyone has something to say before we stay? Anyone? Okay, I see Sister Wilma. Ah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was thinking it's only a Lugo looking beautiful. Also, you are there. <laughs> to God be the glory. I just wake up. <laughs> yeah, I just joined wow. late. Yeah, I joined late, but to God be the glory. I just want to, uh, you, my brother, to um, lift up my son today. He turned uh, eight. He's Baptist today. So he just woke up this morning. Ah, you have to give us a cake. Hey. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, he will come and eat the cake after school because they're going to school. So he just done hey. it. Yeah, his name is Elijah. I believe God wow. that he will live up to his name. So just uh, I ask you and all those here to lift him in prayer and speak good things in his life and dedicate yeah. him to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We please. Is there okay, Sister Irene? I know you are getting ready. You are the one to lead. I, I don't know if Ashley is there. You will have read for sing for us a song. So please let us stretch our hand, even though we don't see his cute face. Is there around you, sweet boy? Elijah, you are there. Go for come on. Show us your face so that yeah. only seeing your face is enough eating your cake. <laughs> He's right here. Come on, Baba. Look. Up. Yeah. 
Let us see your cute face, baby, big boy. Wow. Wow. Hey, you are so cute. Oh, mommy son. Wow. Yes. <laughs> what, what do you want God to do for you? Uh, make my dream. Say, made his, his dream true. His dreams come true. Amen. Amen. Wow. And we have been studying about dream. Your dream will come to pass. After you help me, let him read. Let, help, me, help him to, see, to read the story of Joseph. Or show him the movie of Joseph. Amen. Okay. We pray for you. Please let us speak. The way you are cute, eh? Very good. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for Elijah. We thank you for his life. He asked only one thing, to make his dream come true. I believe you have given him a great dream. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the privilege for us to celebrate his birthday. Anything that may try to distract him, be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Any negative declaration has been made against him in any way, this very day be cancelled. Every demonic pronouncement against him in any way be cancelled. Whatever and whatever that is not of God that went on on his day of birth, this very day be cancelled. As the grace of God was upon the Elijah Tishba, the same grace be upon you. I speak in your life, you will walk in power. As you are in the year of abundance, indeed, your life. It will be in abundance until Jesus returns. You will never lack. You will always have plenty to share others. In the name of Jesus, I speak good health. I speak wisdom and understanding. For the Lord said, whoever blesses you, surely shall be blessed. I stand to bless you. I bless your studies. I bless everything that has to do with you. You are going out and you are coming in. This place. There shall be no weapon that will ever be formed against you that will ever prosper. And any tongue that rises against you in judgment, you yourself will condemn it. I decree you are raising from grace to grace. You are walking in power. You will do things that no one has ever done. You will have wisdom that anyone has ever had. I speak wealth upon you. I command favor upon you, development over you in the name of Jesus. I speak this very day, you are great. You will bring joy in your mother's house. You will bring joy in your family in the name of Jesus. This very day, curse whoever tried to curse you, and whoever blesses you, that man is blessed. From this very day, you will not just be called a blessed, but blessed career, but you are indeed a blessing in the name of Jesus. Walk in victory, walk in peace and joy. All your life, continue to live in the morning. Rejoice in the name of Jesus. I speak in the name of Jesus. Now and then, let always there be a close relationship between you and the Spirit of God. Let Him make you know you. Let there be a relationship between you and him. I speak obedience. Listen to your parents. I bless you and I bless your family in every way. As you go to school, those who study with you, let them be blessed. Those you are going to share with a cake, as they share that cake, let that share introduce Jesus to them. Those who are sick, they will be healed. Those who are in trouble, as they eat your cake, their trouble come to an end. As that cake is sweet, so also their life will be so sweet. In the name of Jesus, your house, they will rejoice all days. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We rejoice with you. Amen. Sister Ashley, please, are you there? I want you to sing for us. Ah, and you have blessed mother and son red. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Sister Ashley, are you there? You sing for our, our, our brother. Yes. Oh, man. Okay, thank you. Okay, Take yeah. over. Yeah. Take over, sister. Oh. 
You are muted, sister. Yeah. I know you are getting prepared so that we see also your face. <laughs> Elijah, yeah, you look like a birthday boy. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Don't be shy. Ashley, you're not ready. Mommy, Ashley can say more. Yeah? Oh, she went. Okay, uh -huh, you see. Oh, you're looking beautiful, sister. Thank you. Okay, you see. Yeah. Oh, Please see. Let us sing together. Oh, you let's sing for us. Happy birthday. Well, I happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Okay, let me try. I cannot sing, but I, I'll happy try. Birthday. Okay. For Elijah. Oh, Elijah, for Elijah, our brother. Okay. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Elijah. How old are you now? You now. How old are you now? May God bless you, Elijah. Okay, thank you. Amen. Thank, you. Amen. thank you so much. What a beautiful voice. God bless you. Okay. Happy birthday to you, Elijah. God bless you. <laughs> thank you so much. Amen. Thank you. Let us share our salvation. Salvation. Salvation is what abides in us and we abide in it. Remember, better is not good enough, the best is yet to come. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of our Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's a blessing.